Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I will be reviewing and then giving away the Clanging Thunder Crimson Invasion theme deck. This theme deck is brand new, one of two Crimson Invasion theme decks. This one features Komoo and is a triple type deck, Dragon, Fighting, and Lightning. So the remainder of this video, I will be reviewing the deck and then at the end of this video, I'll be stating the rules for entry to the giveaway to try and win this theme deck. And I have reviewed all of the latest theme decks on my channel in the past. In the description of this video, you will find a link to the playlist I've created for these types of videos. So before I open up this theme deck, and theme decks are $12.99 a piece in stores, I'll give you a look at the back of this box. So the deck box you can see on the back has the deck list here on the right. What you'll get on the inside on the left, so 60 card deck, a card checklist, metallic coin, two player playmat and rule sheet, code card for the online TCG, a deck box, and then damage counters. And I can read the summary of this theme deck. So it says, Echoes of Mighty Pokemon. Komoo makes a mighty noise in battle. With a thunderous crew of fighting and lightning types, you can tear it up with huge hits and powerful Pokemon. The Clanging Thunder theme deck is going extra big at full volume. So I'll get this theme deck opened up and show everything on the inside. So the deck is opened up. Here's how the items come on the inside. Here's a look at the two player play mat and rule sheet. I like to use the play mats that come in the GX Premium Collection boxes. Here are the damage counters, burn and poison marker and GX marker. Again, you can find much better quality ones of those in the Elite Trainer boxes. Here's a look at the set checklist. The deck box with the 60 cards on the inside, 59 cards on the inside here, plus the one special Komoo Hollow. Here's a look at the coin featuring Komoo, gold and black in color. The online TCG code card, whoever wins this theme deck will win that code card. And then the special hollow foil of Komoo, normally featured as a rare non hollow in the Crimson Invasion set. So now I'll go through each and every card in this 60 card deck. I'll break it out into Pokemon, Trainers, and then Energy cards. And as of right now, I'm trying to get more competitive into the TCG. I have been reviewing cards on my blog every single day for several years, but those reviews are geared towards beginners. So the first line in this theme deck would be a 3-2-2 line of Jangmoo, Hakamoo, and Kamoo. Of course, Kamoo, the featured Pokemon in this theme deck. So Jangmoo is a basic evolution form, 60 HP, so a solid HP, and then two moves. Headbutt and Gentle Slap. I like that headbutt. Only requires one colorless energy card to use. Outside of a theme deck like this, that is a dual type, Gentle Slap, may be hard to use. But not a bad card overall. Could definitely use it as a starter type Pokemon in a battle. Hakamoo, there are two of. 90 HP for a stage one, so a solid HP again. Two moves, Noble Roar and then Dragon Claw. Noble Roar, your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. So this is a move that may help you if you are building a spread attack type deck. And then Dragon Claw does 40 damage for two energy cards, the same energy cards that were required with Gentle Slap on Jangmoo, just doing double the amount of damage. So both cards so far, not bad. We'll see what Komoo looks like, and you can of course try and put a Komoo GX into this set as well into this theme deck, excuse me. So 160 HP for a stage two Pokemon card. Two moves on it, War Cry and then Clanging Scales. War Cry for two colorless energy cards or one double colorless energy card does 30 damage plus if you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, this attack does 90 more damage. So it could do 120 damage for only one special energy card. And this is something you'll find in Crimson Invasion, a lot of cards help manipulate your prize cards or give you a bigger advantage if you are losing during the game. And then Clanging Scales for three energy cards, one each of Lightning, Fighting, and Colorless, does 130 damage. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 more damage from attacks, which is a little bit disappointing. I would definitely use War Cry if you are behind in the game, but Clanging Scales there, 130 damage. So a very powerful card, just takes a little bit longer to set up especially if you're using this theme deck because there are no double colorless energy cards. 
But overall, a pretty straightforward Pokemon line here. Nothing spectacular, not really any strategy involved with any of those cards. Really just straightforward attackers. Next up would be a 3-2 line of Pikachu and then Alolan Raichu. Pikachu, another solid HP for a basic Pokemon. 60 HP and then two moves, both requiring colorless energy cards, which is helpful when building a deck. Pika Draw allows you to draw a card and then quick attack does 20 damage plus if heads when you flip a coin, this attack does 20 more damage. So it could do 40 damage for one double colorless energy card. And I like its ability to draw a card each turn. So not a bad starter type Pokemon as well. So, so far, I am a fan of the Pokemon in this theme deck. And personally, in my deck that I've built, I use Zoroark GX to draw cards. This ability, if you discard one card, you can draw two cards. But not a bad starter type Pokemon here for Pikachu. Three of Pikachu. And then two Alolan Raichu, I believe in Crimson Invasion. This is normally a rare hollow. 110 HP on this Pokemon. So an above average HP. Its ability is called Surge Surfer. And it says if there is any stadium card in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost, which is useful, especially if a lot of people are using stadium cards in the metagame. And then Psychic for three colorless energy cards does 70 damage plus 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So another Pokemon that is a little bit slower to set up, but can pack a wallop, similar to Kamo'o. And with the ability Surge Surfer, personally I use a Float Stone item and I attach that to a Pokemon to allow it to retreat for free, but not a bad card. And as you'll see in a few minutes, I do like the trainer cards in this set as well. So, so far so good with the Pokemon in this theme deck. The next Pokemon line would be a 3-2 line of Shellos and Gastrodon. Shellos is a water type Pokemon, which may help because it is weak to a different type of Pokemon compared to the lightning type Pokemon. But both moves on this card require colorless energy. Another card that has a solid HP. Regeneration is the first move on this card. It heals 30 damage, similar to what a Potion Trainer does. And then Mud Slap for one colorless energy card does 10 damage. So another card that you could put in the active Pokemon spot right at the start of the game. So far all of these basic Pokemon work well in the active Pokemon spot. So not a bad card there. See what Gastrodon looks like. So three Shellos. And then two Gastrodon, which is a fighting type, a high HP again, similar to Alolan Raichu. Two moves on this card. You have to watch out for its retreat cost, which is pretty high. Eerie Fluid and then Earthquake are the two moves. Eerie Fluid for two energy cards does 30 damage, and it confuses the defending Pokemon. And then Earthquake for three energy cards does 120 damage. However, this attack does 10 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. So this move as well as Kamo'o's Clanging Scales move both do damage to your own Pokemon. In Kamo'o's case it increases damage to Kamo'o during its next turn. So be wary there. You're definitely going to want to have a way in your deck to heal damage on your own Pokemon. Not many Pokemon left. There are two Amolga, 60 HP for a basic Pokemon. Two moves on this Emolga, Energy Catch and then Volt Switch. Energy Catch for one colorless energy card allows you to put three basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Love that move. It's similar to how an Aqua Patch trainer card works, except for there you're moving it from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. And then Volt Switch for one lightning type energy does 30 damage. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched lightning type Pokemon. So it does do a high amount of damage for only one energy card, but you're going to have to switch it out. So the main reason you want to use Amolga is for its energy catch. You may use that later in the game, use it one turn, and then go to Volt Switch or just retreat it to your bench. Soul Rock is the next Pokemon. Two Soul Rock, 90 HP for a basic, solid HP, two moves, double draw, and then Solar Heat. Double draw allows you to draw two cards for one colorless energy, and then Solar Heat. For one fighting type energy, does 20 damage plus if there's any stadium cards in play, this attack does 20 more damage. So this is, I believe, the second card that I've seen that has an additional ability to it if a stadium card is in play. Similar to Alolan Raichu's ability, it says if there is any stadium card in play, that Pokemon has a zero retreat cost, a free retreat cost. 
And then the final Pokemon in this deck is a colorless type, type Null. Of course, this is the basic evolution form of Silval IGX. You could certainly include that card in this deck. So again, above average HP of 110, two moves, both requiring just colorless energy cards, armor press, and then slashing claw. Armor press for two colorless energy cards does 30 damage. And then during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage. So it makes this card's already high HP seem even higher. And then Slashing Claw does 70 damage for three colorless energy cards, which is a little bit above average. So to summarize the Pokemon in this theme deck, I like them quite well. I also mentioned some improvements you could make to this theme deck, but a lot of cards in this theme deck pack a punch, they pack a wallop, just a little bit slower on the attack once they're set up. They definitely can plow down some Pokemon that your opponent may have in the active Pokemon spot and even on your bench. So I do like this theme deck as far as the Pokemon are concerned. Now I'll take a look at the trainer cards. And after I review the other theme deck from Crimson Invasion, I will compare those two theme decks at the end of that video. So that'll be next month. So on to the trainer cards in this theme deck. I'm actually quite impressed by the variety of trainer cards in this deck. First up would be an item card, a big Malasada. It heals 20 damage and removes a special condition from your active Pokemon. Similar to a potion trainer, but it removes 10 less damage, but it does heal a special condition. It removes it. Devoured Field, there's one stadium card in this theme deck. It basically affects the dragon type Pokemon in this deck, Jangmoo, Hakamoo, and Kamoo, but it also will give Alolan Raichu that free retreat cost. The stadium card says the attacks of darkness Pokemon and dragon Pokemon do 10 more damage to the opponent's active Pokemon. So not only does Kamoo already dole out major damage, it can dole out more damage if you have that stadium card in play. Energy Retrieval, there's just one of. It allows you to put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Always useful to have energy cards in your hand. One Escape Rope Trainer, and it forces both players to switch their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. Your opponent must switch to their Pokemon first. Experience Share. Just one of this trainer card, and you attach this to one of your bench Pokemon. And if your active Pokemon is knocked out, you can move an energy card attached to your active Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon that this card is attached to. There are three How Trainer cards. This allows you to draw three cards. You can up the style of this theme deck by putting a full art How in the deck. And a lot of Pokemon in this theme deck already draw cards with their moves. So you definitely won't be lacking for cards in your hand with this theme deck. And then there's Lily, another supporter. It says draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. If it's your first turn, draw cards until you have eight cards in your hand. So you'd like to get this card in your hand to start the game. That way you can use all the cards that you have in your hand. You start out the game with seven, and then you already put down one basic Pokemon card in the active Pokemon spot, potentially a bunch on your bench, so that way you can quickly replenish your hand at the beginning of the game. Nest Ball, there are two of. Allows you to search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. This card is a little bit limited in that if you have a full bench already, five Pokemon there, you can't use this card. Professor Kukui, I really like this supporter, and there are two of this one. It says, draw two cards, during this turn, your Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So you could have the Stadium card in play, use this card, and then Kamoa, which just would do a ton of damage every single turn. Potentially, I believe it could do 170 damage for only one double colorless energy card. So two of Professor Kakui, and then a Rescue Stretcher, just the one of. It allows you to do two things. It either lets you put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, or shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. There is a Switch Trainer, and some of the Pokemon here do have a high retreat cost. Specifically, the Gastrodon and Kamoo both have two colorless and three colorless energy card retreat costs. It allows you to switch your active Pokemon with your bench Pokemon for free. There's a Timer Ball, two Timer Ball, and it says... Flip two coins. For each head, search your deck for an evolution Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Not a bad card there. Don't normally use cards that are based off of coin flips, though. And then the final trainer is 
pretty good one. It says, discard two cards from your hand. If you do, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So this is an Ultra Ball Trainer, and the advantage here is that you can search your deck for any type of Pokemon. So you could go Basic, Stage 1, Stage 2, GX, EX, not a problem. You just have to discard two cards, and potentially you could get those cards back with some of these cards that retrieve cards from your discard pile. But like I mentioned, I really do like the trainer cards in this set, and overall I'm pretty impressed by this theme deck. And because this is a theme deck, it'll have way more energy cards than you really need. It has 20 total energy cards in the theme deck, 8 lightning, and then 12 fighting. So overall, I am a fan of this theme deck. As far as the competitive TCG, Crimson Invasion isn't that great. But for a theme deck, I would give this a 4 out of 5 rating. I really like the variety of types of Pokemon. I really like the trainers. And this deck really has an opportunity to really pack a punch when attacking. So I would definitely recommend this theme deck for beginners to the Pokemon TCG. So a very good theme deck overall. So now on to the giveaway portion of this theme deck review and giveaway video. All you have to do to be eligible to win this theme deck is you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and then comment in the comment section of this video with your favorite Pokemon type for building a deck. Personally, I am a huge water type fan, but the deck that I'm using right now is a water, darkness, and psychic type deck. So let me know what your favorite type is. Once you've done those three things, you are successfully entered into this giveaway. At the end of November, at approximately 7 p.m. Central Time, I will be using a random number generator on all the comments in this video to select one winner. And I'll be private messaging that winner on YouTube to let them know that they have won this theme deck. My giveaways are always open to everyone worldwide. You don't just have to live in the United States to be eligible for this giveaway. Please remember, only one entry per person. So if you do enter more than once, you will be unfortunately disqualified. But for complete rules to entry, please see the description of this video. So that concludes this video. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Good luck to everyone who enters this giveaway. And before I go, I also have a Crimson Invasion Pokemon card giveaway going on right now. I can link to that on the screen and in the description of this video. So thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.